Do you want your contact lenses to be super duper clean? If so, today's video is for you. I'm gonna talk about the best contact lens cleaning solution to get those lenses clean and spivvy. Welcome to Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. I'm Dr. D. My goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Hello, I'm Dr. D. I'm a doctor of optometry with my own private practice. I'm residency trained in ocular disease and I have a specialty in dry eye. On this channel, I post educational videos about eye health and vision products. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and make sure to hit the bell so that you never miss a video. While you're at it, I've included some helpful information down in the description, so check it out. Today we're going to talk about hydrogen peroxide cleaning solution. I actually made a video about this a couple of years ago with my associate, Dr. Ikatani, and that video was about one minute long, and since it's been out, all of a sudden it got found, like you guys are watching it like crazy. So I wanted to make a little bit more in-depth video about hydrogen peroxide solution that had more information than just that little one minute blurb. All right, my peoples, it's time for high school. Okay, so the goal of contact lens solution, any contact lens solution, if you're using it, which by the way, that's gonna be for you two week contact lens wears out there, you monthly contact lens wears out there, you um, enlightened folks wearing daily lenses with no cleaning and no solution, you just go on with your bad selves because you don't even need any of this. But if you're wearing monthlies or you're wearing two-week lenses, bi-weekly lenses, or even weekly lenses at this point, you're gonna be dealing with contact lens solution and so you want the best kind that makes those lenses as wearable and comfortable as possible. So those main goals of contact lens solution, you're gonna need it to disinfect and clean the lenses. Ideally, you'd like it to lift deposits and make that wear time more comfortable for longer, i.e. that may have some type of lubrication actually within the contact lens solution. So traditionally, you might be aware of MPDS or multi-purpose disinfectant solution. That's gonna be your BioTrues, your OptiFreeze, your Renews. These are the ones that are, you know, just in a bottle. You can use that type of solution to clean, to disinfect, to store the lenses, to rinse before inserting in your eyes. These solutions are widely, widely used. They do a great job of disinfecting lenses if they're used properly, and they work for most people. But occasionally you find that you might be a heavy depositor on your lenses. For people who deposit heavily on their lenses or have um, less comfort in monthlies but maybe aren't a candidate for dailies, maybe you're in a monthly, you wish you could be in a daily because that by the end of that month they're getting really uncomfortable, but gosh, your astigmatism is too high, so you have to be in a monthly. If that's you, I have a way for you to make those lenses more comfortable for longer, and the solution, is solution. See what I did? Thank you. You're my number one fan. So hydrogen peroxide is going to give you a deeper clean than a multi-purpose disinfecting solution. How it works is that this is a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. ClearCare has got about 80% of the market share at this point. There are other hydrogen peroxide solutions out there, but this is gonna be the market dominator for sure. This also has hydroglide in it, which is a surfactant. Yeah, it's a surfactant lubricant. So if your eyes do well with that, great. If not, you need to look for the other 20% of market share because they don't have surfactant. It makes the eyes more comfortable. More comfortable, more comfort. Okay, um, so the way, what ClearCare is, is it's that 3% hydrogen peroxide and it's neutralized by a metal disc. And so in the case of multi-purpose disinfecting solution, you're gonna use one of those classic little cases, just put your contact lenses directly into solution, store them overnight and you're good to go. However, with hydrogen peroxide solution, it's a little bit different setup. So you have this specialized case that has a metal disc. Now this is platinum coated and it is what's doing the neutralizing when it comes to the hydrogen peroxide. You need to put your lenses in these little cages right here. I find it easiest to put it in the actual well of the case rather than trying to stick it on this side. 
You do want to make sure it's well within the well so that you don't like clip the side of the contact and cause any damage to the contact lens itself. Once you have both of your lenses within the case, you're going to put solution up to the handy dandy line. That was fun. And then you're going to dip those little babies in there for just a nice little bath. And what you'll enjoy seeing is the bubbles. The bubbles tell you it's cleaning. So this is gonna take six to eight hours and I would give it a good six hours to neutralize. What that's doing, those little bubbles and that chemical reaction that's happening is thoroughly breaking up the proteins and removing deposits on the lenses during that disinfection process. And that's why we say these, this type of solution is really great for folks who tend to heavily deposit on their contact lenses or have dryness or discomfort at the end of the wear cycle. You can use it in a couple of different ways, right? So you could use this solution every single night if you just really liked how it felt, how it made your lenses feel. You could also use it every other night, or, or I tell some patients, hey, this will just make your contact lenses feel better if you do it like, you know, once a week. Just have one night a week where you know you're gonna get your lenses in this solution for at least six hours and have that really nice deep clean overnight. However, there are some cautionary things we need to talk about with hydrogen peroxide. So this red top on here is by design, okay? This is because this solution is never to be instilled directly into your eye, not from the bottle, not from the bottle to your finger and then your eye, not to rinse a contact lens that you put directly in your eye. Always think that this solution must pass through this case for six hours before those lenses can be reinserted in your eyes. If you, you know, go, okay, I'm gonna use this. Oh gosh, I woke up in the middle of the night and I need to go somewhere. Don't put those in. Not if they haven't been in there for six hours. Don't you do that. That's not okay. You will have a chemical reaction in your eye, right? Well, it'll burn your eye essentially because you have unneutralized hydrogen peroxide and that's very caustic and damaging to your ocular tissues. And so even if it hasn't been in there for a full six hours, you do not wanna put those lenses in your eye. You wanna make sure, some tips here, you wanna make sure you put enough solution in, but not too much. So definitely go right up to the line that they suggest. If you don't have enough in there, then it might not cover the contacts. You might not get the right neutralization. The same with too much. You don't wanna you know, overflow the case. Just fill it right up to the line. Avoiding procedural mistakes. That's how I'm referencing you know, the, the occurrence where the, somehow the solution makes it directly to your eyeball. That's a procedural mistake. So avoid those and keep the procedure at 100. Another thing about this bottle, you will notice that it's like, not for me because I'm so strong, but it's a little hard to squeeze. A little harder to squeeze than your average bottle. I, I referenced how I'm so strong. Ah, so you just really, you absolutely avoid getting this directly in your eye. So why do I like it better than multi-purpose disinfecting solution? I do like that this will penetrate microbial films. Um, it is a deeper clean on those contact lenses. There's no preservative in this, right? So there is preservative in a multi-purpose disinfecting solution. It's better against acanthamoeba. So acanthamoeba is a nasty critter that can encapsulate itself and live in all different types of environments. And in the case of an acanthamoeba corneal infection, those are really, really devastating to sight and obviously something we want to avoid. And so hydrogen peroxide is more effective against acanthamoeba, which is a great positive in my book. This also encourages better compliance. Um, people that use hydrogen peroxide solutions are very good about this process because they know if they're not, there's um, consequences, i.e. red fiery eyes. And so you know, they tend to leave them in there for six hours and that encourages lenses getting out, eyes getting a lot of time to breathe and have a break and um, health can be better in that circumstance. So 
Um, those are the main points about hydrogen peroxide solution. It's a really great alternative to a multi-purpose disinfecting solution. You might be a good candidate for it if you're in monthlies, two weeks, or weekly lenses. Um, if you're looking for more comfort on the lenses, perhaps you've seen that you deposit on your lenses pretty heavily, or you're having some dryness or some um, end of wear time discomfort, hydrogen peroxide is definitely a good first step to try before you ask your doctor to refit you into a different contact lens entirely. I hope that helped and that you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if you have had any good or bad experiences with hydrogen peroxide solution. I'd love to hear them. Make sure to tune in every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. We have a new video every week. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.